So it looks like we're going to get our youth intake here real soon. Looks like a promising batch. A healthy number of new fullbacks, a lot of wingers. One of our goalkeepers looks like a great prospect. Possible attacking midfielder to keep a close eye on. Probably part of this wingers thing. A uh, good Northern Irish goalkeeper. Look, I guess that's this guy. And a real golden generation for the club. No defensive midfielders, no wingbacks. A uh, healthy number of fullbacks, but they're not the best. Most of the center backs won't make the grade. Uh, Ransom is the guy that we had offered out, and he rejected the contract offer from Montrose. We had three offers for him. Montrose was the only one that we took because they were the only ones not looking for kickback from us on his salary. And I'm like, why would I want to pay the guy's salary? So anyway, just wanted to come back and let you guys know that. And we will see you guys back here for some match in a little while. Uh, as I mentioned a minute ago, uh, we've got our youth intake that's coming in the near future. They kind of, you know, you kind of get that pre preview on what it's going to look like. So hopefully we get a few decent players. Uh, also, I have uh, decided I'm going to try to move a bunch of players. And I was noticing quite a few players were available on freeze. I haven't been able to sell a player here for money outside of maybe one guy. I think we sold for $1,000 or $1,400. And I guess that's just the thing at lower league is – there's no money to buy players, but I also realized that I can't afford to stockpile players at a low level either. So even though they're good players or decent players, I can't afford to keep three or four deep uh, plus my youth because they're all on contracts and we're losing money hand over fist. So we'll go over transfers in just a second. Uh, we did play the run of games. We've rebounded pretty decently. Stenhouse Muir, uh, we lost 2-1. Brian Jones got an equalizer in the 75th minute. We gave up the winner in the 82nd minute. Disappointing. Uh, then we beat Air United 2-0. Callum Monroe got on the score sheet again, finally. Alvin Krasnicki with another goal two minutes later. Brewer, we beat 3-1. Brian Jones with a brace, including a 10th-minute penalty. Ali Smith with a goal in the first half. Queen of the South, 4-1 win. Callum Monroe, Martin McKenzie from the midfield, Daniel Ray Devaney, our right winger, and Andy Baxter, our new starting left winger, 4-1. Uh, now, he's been with the club, but we'll go into that in a few minutes. Edinburgh City, 5-1. Stephen McFarland forced into the starting lineup due to injury and fatigue, and he scores four goals. And that's in what? 31 minutes, 31 minutes, he scores four goals, insane. And then Brian Jones adds a, a late goal in stoppage time. So competition-wise, we are actually in second position, only two points behind four far, two points in front of Inverness. We are sporting a plus 24 goal differential, so we're right there with four far in goals as well. So... Back-to-back -back promotion? I'm not going to hold my breath, but uh, right now we are looking seven points uh, from falling out of the playoff spot. So, knock on wood, that's looking pretty solid. Let's take a look at the transfer. So, last video, last game that we saw was uh, December 11th. Transfer window opened up on the 1st. So, again, what I was looking at was... I've got players that I'm paying salaries to and they're not playing for me. So I needed to make a decision. Are they good enough that they can play now? Meaning I can get rid of somebody that's a current starter or primary backup, or we get rid of them no matter what age they are, because I can't afford to pay these salaries and you remember we had over nine hundred thousand dollars when i took over remember that right right here and uh we're we're under 30 grand in the bank and we're losing a lot of money and we've increased our wage bill quite a bit over the last 
two years. So anyway, looking at, uh, we've got Jamie Rack and Joel Limbert, uh both leaving the club. Uh, let's see, are these? No, these guys are coming in. All right, so these are two young guys that will come in, uh, central mid and a left winger. Uh, they'll join us at the end of the season, and we'll have to look at who we've got and then make some moves there. Looking at the transfer window, we have not brought anybody in, but we have moved off five players. We brought in a little bit of money, $1,900. $1, Jim Gibson goes to Brora here in the league. They paid one point four for him. Uh, he's just no, you know, he could, he could play a lot of positions, but didn't have the pace and he just, he was serviceable. I looked at his age and I said, you know what? It's, it's a time to get rid of him. Now he had started five league matches, come off the bench in three, uh, started 22 last year, but I looked at his age. I said, you know, I've got a younger player that can do the job just as well. Let's get him out of here. Play the young guy. Uh, Chris Smith goes to Crossgates on a free. He's 21 years old. Again, he had some decent physicals. Central mid, I've got guys that are better. Move him out. Uh, let's see, moving on to <coughs> Calvin Jacks. Started at left back for his last year. Airdrionians pays $500 for him. He could play two positions, but he just wasn't playing a lot for us. Uh, three matches this year, all in reserve. And I said, you know what? We can save that salary, get it off the books. Bobby Brindle, he was one of our starters, but he was 32 years old. And I said, hmm, age. Let's get a younger guy on the field, probably cost less. He was, this, Br Brindle was never going to play right back, but he was starting, but he was keeping Andy Baxter off the field and you saw Baxter responded with a goal and an assist uh, his first match that we started him. So I think we'll be okay there. Kyle Christie, I like him, 20 years old. Just, you know, he was more physical than anything else. So, you know, I think we, we culled some, some dead weight here. And we're not really overloaded now. If you look, we've only got six extra players. And one of those is a lone guy. So we've tried to move Ransom, and I would still like to get him out of here. He rejected a bid from another club. We'll see what happens there. Well, we're back with for Kelty Hearts today. Uh, they are seventh in the table. They've fallen off a little bit, but this is a team that's behind us that we need to really keep down. So let's get into it. We're gonna we're at home. We're gonna play our attacking tactic. And Sainsbury at right back. There's Baxter moving into the left left wing role. And we are going with, with McArthur up top due to Monroe's injury. He's out for four more weeks. McArthur and McFarlane are going to get a run of games in here. And then that gives us four strikers for two. Maybe I have to get rid of one of those guys in the offseason. We will look at that down the road. All right, we are in the red and white stripes again. All right, we're off the mark with a couple of shots early, one on target. But we find ourselves defending the first highlight. Good save by Johnston. And he's going to take his time here. I uh, don't like when you do that. <laughs> All right, Krasnig, or Krasnicki, I'm sorry. It's into the box. There's a header. Oh, and the keeper flubbed it. Robson lets it sneak by him. Andy Baxter is now on the score sheet for the third time since cracking the starting lineup. And he is making me look pretty brilliant for getting rid of one of our team leaders. All right, Jones controls it. Krasnicki places it high and wide. All right, we're putting some pressure on him here in the early going. 18 minutes in. They have yet to take a shot at the goal. Let's uh, let's get creative. And then we're defending a set piece, which means we'll probably give up a goal. And I don't know. Did Hunter get that? Hunter must have. Oh, he was off sides. Yay. 
There was quite a few of them offsides. If he would have let that go, that might have gone in. So we got a little lucky there. Oh, nice ball over the top. McArthur reverses field. Krasnicki has to turn around for it. Oh, look at the drop pass. And he can't finish. Come on. He's offsides again. No, he was not. Wow, okay. Good save by the keeper then. We'll chalk that up. I thought he was offsides. And a free kick. Okay, whew. Everybody quit running. I was automatically assuming a penalty. All right, one minute. We've got time for maybe one shot. Over the top. Krasnicki. Into the box. Back door. Baxter. That's his second goal of the game. Another brace. He's got four on the season. And we're up 2 nothing going into the half. Baxter's one of those players. He's not really. He's not great rating wise. He's, he's one of the worst starters on the team. Let's see if we can take a look at him here. He's got really good physicals. He's average in his mentals. Good technique, decent passing. Yeah, you know, where he really lacks is crossing, but everything else is there, I suppose. All right, we do appreciate the efforts. No cards to speak of. All right, let's praise them coming out of the half. Oh, they're fired up from that. Krasnicki with a yellow here in the early going. Sainsbury. Oh, and he puts it past the keeper. His first goal of the season. 30 yards out from the set. And you know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to pull the yellow off for Ray Devaney. And let's go ahead and rest Brian Jones because he's our he's our everyday striker. Let's put McFarlane on with, with MacArthur and let them work in tandem. See if... Uh, how they look four goals last time out we're going to praise them again all right another set and that goes off the bar flicked away come on boys all right baxter problem is now i don't have anybody on the bench for him yeah i wonder nah i'm gonna have to look because we've got to have somebody else oh you know what i'm training ray devaney to play over there so let's bring on blair brimner we'll move ray devaney to the left side give him some actual match time to work on his craft with a three goal advantage i need to play him over there more but I think Baxter's done enough to keep keep in the starting 11. And that puts us top of the table, boys. Four far loses, and we go top of the table. That's incredible. Was not expecting that. But we do play them next. So a top of the table showdown. We'll see you guys back here in just a second for that. So I wanted to come back on this. So our league, you can see the three major transfers were all freeze. The biggest spender was Brora, who signed our one player for that 1.4K. So, yeah, just not any money in this league to sell players and obviously not good enough to sell to the higher level, which is disappointing. It's hard to be, you know... That's one of the things they've always said about, you know, lower league management is you have to be a selling club. But if you can't sell them for any money, that's kind of crazy. You figure somebody, you know, two or three leagues up would be interested in some of your prospects for, for money. But we're down under 10K. They're going to have to put some money in the bank. All right, we are the road team this match. We are underdogs, so we're going to go to our away tactic. And we've got McArthur back in the, in the game. McFarlane on the bench. 
Krasnicki, Baxter, Ray Devaney. Let's see, Wallace. All right, Wallace is going to have to play. We just don't have a lot of guys there. All right, well, let's get to it. It would be nice to pull some points here and, and build as a cushion. Another promotion would not be bad. It would certainly put us in a, I think it would put us in a financial bind. It would help our reputation, but it is definitely going to put us in a financial bind because we're not going to draw any more fans. I don't know how long it would take fans, fan attendance to catch up with the level you're at, but experience tells me that it, it takes forever. So I don't know. All right, Mc, uh, let's see. We're in the yellow. Jones, we got him outside, and he loses it. All the way back to the keeper. Oh, they press, and that helps us get it back temporarily. Oh, and they just split our defense wide open. Good save by Johnston. Now we're going to have to defend the corner. Played into the box, cleared out. Good job. All right, so shot-wise, we're right in there. Possession, we're right in there. Wallace picks up a yellow. Let's, uh, let's get creative. And we're going to go. Now, we didn't take any more shots. That's, oof. That's troubling. All right, let's go assertive. We deserve to win this match. Let's give them some faith. Again, I don't do this every match. I try not to min-max. But every once in a while, you just try to All right, demand more. Oh, Taylor. Taylor just made two of our defenders look bad. All right, we are focused. It would be nice to get All right, Baxter a damaged elbow. All right, let's get him off. We're going to move. Let's bring Ray Devaney in on that side. And Beatty for Roydell Smith. We'll go ahead and pull the trigger here a few minutes early. Oh, what a one-handed save. He just, it was wide, but he still got did good to lay out and get a hand on that. Solid stop by our keeper. Right to him. Good sure hands. Very nice. All right, let's show some passion. All right, Wallace into the box. There it is. Roy Dell Smith, super sub, just in the game. Second goal of the season. What a goal. That was huge. Come on, boys. All right, let's uh let's encourage them. They're frustrated and I get it. All right. Uh let's see. Wallace, I could put Dingwall out there. Leon McGuire. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's put Let's get rid of the yellow. He's, and then we can bring Joshua McGregor on. He was he's been our starter the last couple of, you know last season. All right, let's do a lot of time wasting. Let's condense the lines. All right, Dingwall, long throw into their half, forces them to play it all the way back. Good defense, some quick passing. Uh, nice little overlap there by Smith. No, that was poor. All right, they're on the attack. They've got numbers. Oh, my gosh. Johnson with a huge save. Can we stave off a set piece? And there's a foul. A penalty. No, come on. 
88th minute. Come on, Johnston. Not even close. Oh, boy. All right, let's do that. That. That's brutal. Brutal. At least a draw, if we can hold on here, keeps us in top of the table. And we still hold a three goal advantage. Inverness is three back and 17 goals back. Brora is eight back. So we're looking good. Let's go assertive. You were unlucky, which we were. I think we had that game in the bag. In the bag. I'm stunned that we're top of the table. Very happy by it. Baxter, two weeks. Ouch. It's not horrible. We can make do. But let's see. Who do we have there? Alan Miller. So I'm going to have to get Miller on the bench on the bench and pl probably play Ray Devaney out on that side. Maybe I'll have to switch that side to an inverted winger. Could move it to an inverted winger when Ray Devaney's in there because he is right footed. That's something to think about. All right. Well, top of the table still disappointed with the draw, but you know, we've got a six match unbeaten run one five on the bounce. Inverness is a key match here. Let's come back for let's come back for the final four. Let's come back for four far Airdrionians, Inverness, and Stenhouse Muir. And uh, we'll see how we end up. Can we get back to back promotions? I don't know. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And uh, hey, we'll talk to you later. Bye.